So I'd like to review the concept of a contribution margin statement, which is the basis of cost, volume, profit analysis. But to do that, I want to back up a step and look at a regular income statement. So in front of you, you see a very simple income statement. We have revenue minus cost of goods sold equals gross margin minus operating expenses equals operating income. We have broken that down into per unit amounts. They're rounded to the nearest penny and then percentages. And so this is what we would give to an, an investor. We use it for external reporting. It's the income statement that you see most often. However, you can't look at this income statement and understand what's going to happen if you sell an extra $10 worth of goods. If you sell another $10 worth of goods, what will happen to your cost of goods sold? What will happen to your operating expenses? What will happen to your operating income? You really don't know by looking at this. Why? Because you don't know how much of the cost is fixed and how much of it is variable. Now, if we had several years worth of income statements, we could do regression analysis and split that number out, but we are not going to do that. We're going to go back to the management of the company and we're going to ask them to put this together in a different format for us. So we talk to management and we find out that of the cost of goods sold, $300,000 of that is variable. And of the operating expenses, 550,000 are fixed. So if we start doing a little bit of analysis, we can decide, for example, that of the cost of goods sold, if 300,000 is variable, then, and we had a total of 500,000, then 200,000 is fixed. And then of the operating expenses, 550,000 are fixed. So we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna say 550,000 are fixed. And so the remainder of those have to be variable and let's subtract that out. So we can see that our variable costs are $337,500 and our fixed costs are $750,000. Now, how might we organize this financial statement differently then? Let's take a look. We have the same XYZ company, but this time I'm calling it a contribution margin income statement. We have the same number of units sold. We have revenue is the same and our per unit revenue cost is the same. The variable costs are 337,500 and the fixed costs are 750,000. Now notice when we're looking at the variable costs, we are looking at variable costs from all sources, whether they're from production or whether they are from operations. The same thing goes for fixed costs. Some of those fixed costs are part of cost of goods sold and some of those are part of operations. The other difference between these two financial statements is that instead of coming down to a gross margin, we are coming down to a contribution margin. That said, as long as production equals sales, then the operating income is gonna be the same in both of these because all we're really doing is rearranging the costs. CVP is based on this financial statement, so I'd like to just look at this a little bit more closely. What is that revenue? Let's go over and look at it. If we come over to the revenue and click on F2 or hold down F2, we can see the formula used is the number of units sold times the price per unit. And so over here to the side, I'm just gonna write down that revenue equals price per unit times units sold. That makes sense, doesn't it? The same thing goes for variable cost. If we look at the variable cost, it's actually the variable cost per unit times the units sold. So we can come down here and we can say that variable cost equals variable cost per unit times units sold. Okay, so what is contribution margin? Well, the contribution margin is the revenue minus the variable cost, so that is 
And so the contribution margin is the revenue minus the variable costs, but it also could be, we can just prove that down here, it also could be the variable cost per unit times the number of units sold. That gives us the same number. Those two numbers are the same. So let's look at contribution margin two different ways. First of all, per unit contribution margin. So let's say contribution margin per unit equals price per unit minus variable cost per unit and contribution margin total and I'm just going to call that contribution margin equals revenue minus variable cost. So we have all of those relationships. Now fixed costs are just fixed. There is no formula. It's just $750,000 because that's not going to change with volume even though it came partially from our cost of goods sold and partially from our operating expenses. It's not going to change with the volume sold. So let's go over here and look a little bit at what we have. We have revenue minus variable cost equals contribution margin minus fixed cost equals operating income. Now if I get rid of that middle equal sign, I have revenue minus variable cost minus fixed cost equals operating income. And that is exactly what you have on that contribution margin income statement. Let's go ahead and put this in though. Revenue is actually price per unit times units sold. We want to subtract from that variable cost per unit times units sold. And then we're going to subtract from that the fixed cost and that gives us our operating income. So that statement is exactly the same as the statement that preceded it. Now if you notice we've got units sold in two places. And let's go ahead and add some parentheses up here. If I put parentheses here and I put parentheses here, then you can see that we've got inside parentheses price per unit times unit sold minus variable cost per unit times unit sold, which we can rearrange to be price per unit minus variable cost per unit times unit sold and then take that quantity minus fixed cost and we have operating income. So that's exactly the same as the statement above it. Uh, but now let's look at this price per unit minus variable cost per unit. Well, that's our contribution margin per unit, isn't it? So we can come in here and we can say contribution margin per unit times units sold minus fixed cost equals operating income. Okay, so now we have this equation. Will that work? Shall we check it? That's pretty straightforward. Contribution margin per unit we have down here is $75. Okay, if I take that times units sold, so let's take the $75 times the number of units sold, Oh look, that's the contribution margin. If I take that number and I subtract the $750,000, now I have my operating income. So all I did was take this statement and rearrange it into this equation. And this equation is the foundation of cost volume profit analysis.